Hello friend, welcome back to my videos about watches. And in this video I would like to share with you my experience with this lovely Casio G-Shock DW5600. I'm wearing this watch already over one month and this is my experience with it. As we know, this is one of the basic Casio G-Shock models and that was one of the reasons why it was very affordable. I paid only $44 including shipping and I bought it because it shows clearly in the large letters the correct time, it shows you day of the week, months and date all in one glance and display is very large and the numbers are very easy to read and you can choose 12 or 24 hour time display multi-function alarm which I'm not using here you can see countdown timer function and the last menu is for the stopwatch and after that you are in the main time menu again another nice feature is that it has a full auto pre-programmed calendar so of course on the right bottom side there is a button for the light when you need to see your time in the dark I really really enjoy wearing this watch it's very light it's easy bike with it and do all the sports so for me this watch works perfectly but it won't be so great if you wanna use the stopwatch for example and I will show you why let's say that I wanna use the stopwatch so I will go in that mode and I will start it right so it's running I will stop it and then now I want to start again so I want to put it all back to zeros from some reason they are not using this button which is only for the light as you can see right now but you have to use this button so let me try right now with the short fingernails you can see right here if I can even Put it back to zeros. Oh yeah, it finally happened. So it's really difficult when you have a short fingernails to operate this button. I will show you detail of that button right now. Here you can see the detail. All three buttons are relatively easily accessible, including this one but not this one the last one it's buried inside it's completely inside that hole maybe right now you can see the difference it's really very very hard to operate that one and when it's on your wrist it's basically almost impossible but I have no needs to use that countdown timer or a stopwatch so this little detail doesn't bother me at all and other than that I really love this watch the band is really nice and once again the watch is very light so it's very easy to wear in all kinds of situations and I really enjoy the fact how the watch is precise in six weeks it got only five seconds ahead and here is a little detail of the band clasp and the case back of the watch. And as a conclusion, for my kind of use, I'm extremely happy with this watch and I will definitely buy it again or recommend it to the friend.
I hope you have enjoyed this simple video and please stay tuned because I have way more videos about watching coming your way. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.